as far as spec spec stuff, this 15 minute 59 minute flight time. Uh, what is what is kind of the the parameters that keep a, a VTOL from from basically being able to achieve that 59? Is that accurate or or is that give or you know, plus minus five minutes? What does the the flight time actually look like for for the VTOL? So the 59 minutes is with our uh, Red Edge uh, Red Edge Microsense camera payload. So you, if you're looking at a like a like a ground sampling distance of like 0.7 centimeters or something like that, then you're looking more at 500 acres at 54 minutes. Uh, but if you only if you need a three centimeter per pixel, uh, then you can get the 990 acres. And other things that might affect that flight time is altitude. So you're looking closer to 55 minutes with either the Sony RX, RX1, R2, which is a 42 megapixel camera, or the Sony A6100, which is a 24 megapixel camera. And I, before moving to California, like I lived in Reno, where about 5,000 feet, where it was extremely windy. And you're looking at about 47 minutes of flight time at that height. Gotcha. And so, when you talk about uh, when you talk about uh, mapping drones, fixed wing or or uh, VTOL, is it really what someone should expect as far as the acreage they can cover? Because that's really the the objective. Or uh, is flight time still kind of uh, a point of conversation? Which uh, how how do you frame conversations about VTOL? So when I'm out, so I'm a field guy. And so like a field and business guy. So I talk at time in the field, uh, what that costs the company, et cetera. So it's project based. They're looking at what they can get done within a certain amount of time. So they might be able, so sometimes when we're talking about comparing VTOLs to multi-rotor, we talk in battery changes. <laughs> and so like where one battery change, another drone might be six battery changes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which adds time. Uh, it's one flight versus 16 flights. So a lot of people speak at different uh, times. A lot of times, like you'll see people advertise, it would be like, oh, ours is 59 minutes or ours is 90 minutes and ours mm -hmm. is blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot of times it's like with the payload, without the payload. So you don't really know what that actually means <laughs> until like, you know, we the information that we give out is what it could do in a normal setting, right? And you can expect to get between 54 and 59 minutes every time. And when I'm going out in the field, like if you're not super high in super high altitude and stuff like that, uh, one thing you can, when I say when I go out in the field, especially when I'm working with say construction or mining people, like it works. <laughs> like they're like, what are some features? I'm like, it works all the time. And right. so it's not like you're jumping in your car, driving a hundred miles out into a remote location and you launch it and, you know, then you have an issue. No. Right. So that's, you know, the best thing I could say for any piece of equipment out there is, you know, it works and it gobbles up large projects quickly. Yeah, that's good to know. And I think that in the drone world, it's just really hard to look at a spec sheet and really know what you're going to get as far as a deliverable. So that's why I asked that is if, you know, you're framing it that you can cover this amount of space, it doesn't really matter how uh, how long, uh, it's just really what the deliverable is. So I think that Wingtra has done a good job at making kind of reliable expectations for the airframe uh, that that you represent.